This is a section view of a typical landfill. Landfill design requires installing several liners with a leachate collection system at the bottom of the landfill. Once the cell is filled with solid waste, the landfill is capped with a liner, clay material, and topsoil with vegetation. Gas wells are also installed to collect the gas generated from the landfill to be used as renewable energy. This rendering also shows a typical process of a landfill. At the bottom of the landfill, pipes are placed in a grid pattern to collect the leachate from the system. Leachate are the rainwater percolated through the landfill, which is collected at the bottom of the landfill through a network of perforated pipes. Leachate liquid is pumped to a wastewater treatment plant for treatment process. The vertical pipe shown at the middle of this rendering represents a typical gas well where the gas generated from the landfill is collected by a vacuum system and sent to a gas plant for processing. The gas generated from a landfill is used for renewable energy. There are many gas wells installed in a typical landfill to increase the amount of the gas generated. Jefferson Parish Landfill is an active landfill that collects municipal solid waste. Phase 1, 2, 3A, and 3B are closed. The only active part of the landfill is Phase 4A. Every day, the trash collected in Phase 4A is temporarily capped at the end of the day. Jefferson Parish Landfill is permitted by Louisiana Department of Environmental Quality to operate the landfill as a municipal solid waste landfill. The landfill is operated and maintained by IESI. Jefferson Parish Landfill is located on the west bank of Jefferson Parish in between two other active landfills. Jefferson Parish Landfill was constructed in the early 80s and has several areas where solid waste has been collected. These areas were called as phases. Phase 1 started to collect solid waste in June of 1982 and was capped in December of 1997. This phase collected 3.3 million tons of solid waste. The total area used for this phase was 75 acres. Phase 1 was constructed prior to Subtitle D regulations. Phase 2 started to collect solid waste in August of 1988 and was capped in October of 1993. This phase collected 2 million tons of solid waste. The total area used for this phase was 78 acres. Phase 2 was constructed prior to Subtitle D regulations. Phase 3A started to collect solid waste in January of 1988 and was capped in April of 2013. This phase collected 4.4 million tons of solid waste. The total area used for this phase was 73 acres. Phase 3B started to collect solid waste in August of 2005 and was capped in May of 2013. This phase collected 2.9 million tons of solid waste. The total area used for this phase was 46 acres. Phase 4A started to collect solid waste in May of 2013 and is an active phase. The total area used for this phase is 55 acres. Phase 4B is the future phase of this landfill. It covers an area of 113 acres. In this view, you will notice the outline of each phase for Jefferson Parish Landfill. This landfill covers a 400-acre area of which 55 acres are considered active. A new pump station was constructed and started to operate in December of 2018. This new pump station discharges the lechate from the landfill to the Bridge City Wastewater Plant for treatment. On the right of this view, the entrance to the landfill is shown. On the left, the access road to the landfill is shown. A view of a closed phase of the landfill is shown. When a part of the landfill reaches its permitted maximum capacity of accepting solid waste, that part must be capped with liner, clay material, and topsoil, and must be vegetated. Jefferson Parish has been improving the landfill conditions by installing a new pump station, new gas wells, and new leachate pumps and force mains. One major improvement includes replacing the existing 4-inch leachate pipe with two new 10-inch pipes. The location of the new 10-inch pipes are shown. These pipes collect the leachate and condensation liquid from phases 4A and 3B and carry the flow to pump station number 2. The new pipes are made of high-density polyethylene. The joints are connected to each other by a fusion process so there will be no leaks from these pipes. 22,300 feet of 10-inch pipe has been installed. In this view, the construction of the new pump station is shown. In this view, the completed pump station is shown. This new pump station has the capacity to pump the leachate from the entire landfill to the Bridge City Wastewater Plant. The active phase 4A contains several cells. 
Each cell is controlled by two leachate riser pipes and pumps that remove the leachate from each cell into the new 10-inch pipes, which ultimately enters the new pump station. A typical leachate riser and leachate pump is shown in this view. The leachate riser is a larger pipe that extends down to the bottom of the landfill and is connected to a network of pipes that collect the leachate. A leachate pump is placed at the bottom of this leachate riser pipe and is operated with a control system that monitors the liquid level inside the riser pipe. During the last several months, the improvements that have been made to the landfill were monitored by the amount of the leachate that was removed from the landfill. The graph indicates that the amount of the leachate removed was doubled from August to December 2018. The leachate removed was increased from 1,438 gallons per hour in August 2018 to 2,800 by the end of December 2018. Jefferson Parish has also been proactive in dealing with rainstorms. During November 2018, due to heavy rain, the parish used a skid-mounted diesel engine pump to remove the storm water and was able to utilize one of the 10-inch pipes for an emergency pump out. The active phase 4A, which collects the solid waste, is shown. Gas wells collect the gas generated, and the leachate system collects the leachate liquid. The gas wells are installed throughout the landfill, and a network of pipes collect the gas generated through a vacuum pump system and is used as a source for renewable energy. The detail of the gas well system is shown. The gas wells are installed vertically inside the landfill to collect gas.